Hello and welcome to the video. Okay, so in the previous lesson, I've said that you should model a winning app rather than creating an app from scratch. Now, how do you know which apps on the Apple App Store are winning apps and which ones you should avoid? I will show you exactly how. First of all, if you don't have iTunes on your computer, you need to download it from Apple. Just go to apple.com forward slash iTunes forward slash download and press enter. You'll reach this page and this is the area where you can download iTunes. Then after you have it installed on your computer, just open iTunes and you will see a screen like this. Now you should see a, a button here, iTunes Store. You should click on it. Or maybe if you have an older version of iTunes, you will see this button here or in another place, but you will find it eventually on the screen. Just click on it. This will take a few seconds. Okay, so now you are at the iTunes store. Just click here on the three points and pick apps. Okay, now simply scroll down and you'll see top paid apps, top free apps, and top grossing. Just click on one of those. I will click on top free apps. Okay, so all the apps that you have here are sorted according to their popularity, meaning the apps at the top of the page are the most popular in, the, in this category. Okay, so we now have a list of potential apps that we can risk in because we know that the apps that we see here are very popular apps. I highly suggest that you will risk in game apps because game apps are the most popular apps on the Apple App Store. You will always see game apps featured first at the top of the list. So I will pick games at the drop down list. And now we will just see game apps, the most popular ones in the free categories. Now what I suggest that you do is that you will take a pen and a piece of paper or maybe open a notepad or a word file on your computer. What you want to do is to write down apps from the three different sections that you will consider skinning. You want to write down apps that are very simple, number one. Number two, have an endless gameplay. And number three, are addicting. The Flappy Bird game is actually a very good example to what I'm talking about. Firstly, the game is extremely simple. Its design is a very, very plain retro look and with regard to functionality you basically have a bird which moves continuously to the right while passing between sets of pipes. Lastly, the game is simple to learn. After a very short time playing the game you will know exactly how to play it. No detailed instructions or any kind of complexity whatsoever. Secondly, the game is endless. The bird just keeps passing through sets of pipes and every time it passes two pipes, the player gets a point. There is no end to the game and basically the more points you get, the better you are in the game. Thirdly, the game is addicting. It is addicting because it is so hard to master and thus you keep playing it again and again and again, always frustrated that you failed on your previous attempt. So how do you know which games that you see here are simple, endless and addicting? You know that by playing the popular games over and over again while taking notes. Then you just write down the games that have a simple design, simple gameplay, easy to learn, endless and addicting. If you prefer not to play the games or if you don't have an iPhone, you can still do your research by simply pasting the name of the games into YouTube and click the search button. By doing that you will find out that there are many gameplay videos that show you exactly how the iPhone game that you have searched for works. Now in a minute I will show you how to do the research, but I first want to explain why I tell you to write down apps that are simple, endless and addicting. Let's start with simple. We look for simple apps because this is what gamers are looking for. It is as simple as that. Many people just look for games that you can just play with to pass the time. They are on the bus, heading to work or coming back on the bus from work and they just want to play a simple game that will pass the time, a game like Candy Crush for example. If the games we risk in will be complex and full of instructions, 
many gamers will simply not play them. Now, the reason we want to risk in an endless game is that it takes much less time to create and it costs much less to create. An endless game basically only includes one screen that keeps repeating itself over and over again. Games like Candy Crush and Angry Birds contain many different levels and each level you insert to your game will require you to invest time and money. Now the reason that you want to find addictive games is because you want the people who download your games to keep playing your games over and over again and recommend your games to their friends. So let me now show you exactly how I would do my research. So first of all, I will look for an icon, an iPhone icon that has a very simple design like this one here. It is called circle, which is basically a white background and a circle in the middle. This looks very simple. Let's click on it. Okay, so in the description I see this uh, that it says that it says make the circle jump and avoid eating the line. How far can you go? So this looks like an endless game. How far can you go? Meaning probably that there aren't any levels. You just keep repeating the same level, and the uh, the aim of the game is to basically move the circle without hitting uh, the line. So this looks like an endless game, a very simple endless game, and, and it may be also addicting. I will need to download the game to my device and actually play it to see, but I think I can, I can write it down. Circle. Okay, let's take another one. I will go back. Okay. And you need again to click on all categories and pick games. And let's see if we see here in the free section another uh, game. Uh, I have this game here, White Tiles for Piano Master. Again, a very um, simple design. Basically, you have here two, uh, two colors, black and white. Um, looks very simple also when I see the screenshots um, okay the description doesn't tell you much but maybe if I will click more I can see okay I will need to read it because I see that it's a long description basically repeats itself but um, I don't see here any information regarding the game so uh, I will probably download it and uh, play it, but it looks very similar to other games that I've played. Um, and I think it's endless and um, addicting. And also it looks very simple. So I'm, I'm going to write it down. White Tiles 4, Piano Master. Okay, let's take one more. I'm going back. Again, I need to click on all categories and pick games. And I will go to free again. Let's see if we have here one more, just so I can show you. So here is the game 2048. Very simple design. You see here a yellow background and just a number in the middle. Um, okay, so basically here you need to match numbers and it's written swipe to move all tiles when two tiles with the same number touch they merge into one so this is basically the aim of the game again very simple and uh, endless and addicting of course we need to download it to see so let's write it down 2048 so this is basically how we do my research Again, download the games to your device and play them and see which games you like, which games are addicting, have an endless gameplay and have a very, very simple design. So once you have this list, you are done with this lesson and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.